Hello Flosstube, my name is Jani and this is my Flosstube number 18. <laughs> Welcome again to my channel. Um, I'm still a little sick so the voice is not here right now still but we'll see, we'll see. Um, I want to to share with you uh, some of the whips that I've been working on, um, a little finish, and you know some things that I've been doing. Um, first of all, uh, this last Friday, uh, I participated in Caroline's uh, of uh, of the grid. A Friday party, stitching party. So the idea was to stitch uh, from 6 p.m. to 12 in any place you were in the world. So it was like a stitching. Um, so all all around the world we been stitching that uh, those uh, six hours. So it was really fun. I initially I, I wasn't going to participate, but because I have uh, uh, it was um, soccer game, and but I, I I was still a little sick. So um, Carlitos told me you shouldn't go to the, to the game to the stadium because you're gonna get even uh, more sick, sicker, so I stay here and I stitch. <laughs> so yeah, it was really fun because uh, all around the world we can we could share a picture of the whips that uh, we we were working on, and after the six hours we we share the 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 progress picture. And some of the ladies uh, or, or um, of the of the boys um, stay uh, even l more hours. So yeah, it was really really fun knowing that uh, you know you were stitching and somebody or oh, many people uh, were stitching with you. And yeah, I. Of course, we we got some breaks. <laughs> I ordered pizza and we have dinner with my family. And but they they knew, you know, mom is stitching. She's in in her marathon of stitching. So it was it was really funny. And I I work in I stitch it in my Lady of Mystery. So yeah, I will show you uh, what I did. Um, so thank you, Caroline, for, for you know making this happen, and and also for your for your group. She has a fa Facebook group uh, of the Grid uh, Friday, and and when where we can you know share um, mostly uh, stitch with me videos. So again, you can stitch with many people, and you know while you while you are stitching, uh, you can watch uh, somebody stitch with you. I mean, it's a, a lovely way to to keep this hobby, you know, cross stitch hobby, um, entertaining for everybody. And and we we know we have talked that it's a lonely hobby because. You're just with your stitching and you're alone. But uh, through these videos or these activities, you're not alone anymore because you are, you know, stitching with someone. And it's a, like a virtual retreat, I guess you can you can say. Okay. Um, so yeah, I I stitch in, in my whip, my main whip, um, which is. Well, right now it's my Lady of Mystery, uh, which I start in January the 1st, so 
she was my my new year start and I've been stitching on her since since January. So here is my my whip. Um, you know I love to to stitch my mirabilia uh, at the face first because I love to watch a lovely face. So I have to stitch her face. Um, I, I'm stitching her in a piece of Monaco that I dyed and it has you know purples and pinks and some orange so it's really interesting color <laughs> so here she is you know the the face and the hair is complete and I substitute a uh, one color in the hair, I added a variegated DMC to make a little change in the because the hairs only had like uh, three or four browns and the black, but I want to add a little color, so I added that DMC and then I'm continuing to work on her endless <laughs> um, dress uh, in the in the pattern for the dress it calls um, for for skin of DMC so I finished the second one and I start the the third one of, of that color and you know I'm I stitching just uh, half of the stitch because there are there is a lot of big blocks of the same color so I'm stitching just one leg of the cross and then I will return and finish the the, the full crosses so yeah this is um, Lady of Mystery day 14 and I really, really want to keep stitching on her. I was a little worried that the fabric wasn't be uh, big enough. Uh, you know, it's a little margin that I left with fabric, but that will be enough for the for the framing. So yeah, I'm very happy. I want to finish her. <laughs> and the fabric I was told you is. Uh, Monaco. It was originally like a 28, but um, with the dyeing process, it's like a, more like a Monaco 30. So, yeah, I prefer a stitch on 28, but it's it's been you know really really uh, fun stitching on her. So I don't. I mean, I'm not having any problem with her. And, you know, I was uh, all these days, all, all of these uh, January days that I've been stitching uh, her, I took uh, my project to my office. So in the lunch hours, I continue stitching. So I have project bags but um, all of my project bags are um, occupied with <laughs> another whips so I didn't have uh, more project bags and I was watching um, a Michelle Farm Girl uh, last video it was a live video in, in YouTube and she was talking about uh, project bags with um, vinyl um, part where you can watch your projects. And she shared the link for a tutorial from Dina uh, from Making Life Counting. 
and in, in that video, video uh, Tina shared a tutorial uh, about this, um, this, this uh, project bags, you know, with a, a see-through part with uh, vinyl and I made uh, four, four bags because why making one when you can make many? <laughs> so I'm terrible at doing this bag. I, I, the good thing is that I'm a good teacher because <laughs> I mean they came out okay but <laughs> it wasn't my, my best. <laughs> So this is my current whips and I will be working on, on, on them. So this is the one for uh, Lady of Mystery. And they are really poorly finished but <laughs> they look cute. Uh, this is um, Red Mermaid by RTO and also it's the same blue one. Then I have uh, this red one for Beloved and with no fabric. I will tell you why in a moment. So this is my project back for my whip of Beloved. And this is another red one for um, Dead by Cross Stitch. And I restart this project. I also will. I, I'll talk about this in a minute. So yeah, I was you know making uh, project bags, and that I can take my my whips with me. So I want to use this for my current whips because I have the other uh, project bags with you know resting whips, <laughs> let's say that. And, and I was doing that, uh, that uh, bags and Jani, my, my daughter, who also is named Jani, <laughs> like me, um, asked me if I can make her a little uh, bag for her, you know, pencils and, and you know, um, school material. So I made a a little bag for her. It's uh, a little, uh, little bag with also the vinyl part. I say, but I <laughs> don't, don't, you know, make a lot of confidence with this because I'm not quite sure how strong will be for the school. But she said, I love it, <laughs> and so I made her this little bag also. You know, yesterday. And yeah, I was was uh, telling you about my whips, which is mainly uh, Lady of Mystery. But in this week, I also decide to to start again to restart that by cross stitch. Um, if you remember, I I start this project um, last year. I was going to use, uh, well, I was using um, uh, some of, of the fabrics that, um, I mean, some of, some of the flosses that I dyed, and the intention was to be, uh, you know, using all that, all those colors, and doing something like um, Emily C. Is doing with her uh, that by cross stitch, you know, um, using a lot of colors and combining in the in the design. But uh, yeah, last week um, Monday or, or Thursday, I you know one of the, of those days that you wake up and you say, you know what? I don't have the time. I don't have the the, you know the brain to keep uh, thinking or keep choosing colors and changing according to the to the design and if I 
I mean, that's w one of the reasons that I wanted to to start um, to start the, the design uh, was to to do something similar of what uh, Emily did, but you know, I that was the reason that I didn't want to <laughs> keep doing that. Because I start to, you know, um, organize the pattern and, you know, choosing colors and this and that color. And, this. and I said, you know what, I, I just don't want to, to do it that way. I don't want to keep thinking and keep, uh, you know, evaluating, is this color right, is not. I said, no, <laughs> let's start again. So, I mean, I love the idea of, of, um, of Emily and her project is wonderful and it's going to be amazing uh, once she, she finishes it. And it's, it's amazing right now. But, um, you know, I just, that's one of those uh, decisions that you make in the, okay, let's just start again. Um, I measured my fabric and I had um, a lot of room to, because I, let me show you what I have been stitching on that. <laughs> I cut this piece, <laughs> this was part of the, of the original start. And you know, I like the colors, and uh, I was to going to use uh, golden, uh, pink, um, like um, popery <laughs> color here for this band, and was to change, and you know, all the little motifs were going to be different, but not anymore. <laughs> so I started again. The fabric is the same. I'm working on an Aida 18 that I that I dyed with um, some uh, yellow and and tan colors, you know, uh, light browns. So I started again, and I'm really happy. <laughs> yeah, I start this on Wednesday, and I'm using just one. One color. The plan now <laughs> is to use, um, you know, one one DMC uh, for all the all the design. So it's going to be this uh, variegated blue. Is the number forty two forty. And so far, I I really really happy. <laughs> With this new start, uh, I'm using one one thread, uh, one over one, and yeah, I I was uh, stitching last night on on it and just you know want to keep stitching, just like <laughs> like Pam and and Stephanie said. <laughs> so yeah. That's my new my new start. Um, I'm very happy. I it's a it's a kind of relief because I won't have to you know be thinking in the colors and in the changes and you know now this now that. So yeah, and also um, the the good thing is that I will have all my my flosses, wait a minute, and the good thing is that I will have all my my flosses, these, these are uh, flosses that I tied, this and this, and I can use it in something else or, you know, send send them as um, stitch kindness. So, yeah, I love them, but <laughs> I, I, w I won't uh, be, you know, uh, using in them in this project, but they will 
get a uh, lot <laughs> stitch lot so yeah I I start again uh, led by cross stitch I'm really happy I'm going to use just one variegated color and yeah everything is good <laughs> and I also <laughs> was thinking about uh, beloved um, this is one of my also my whips and I started this also last year I was um, already did a little uh, piece but I will start this again because the colors and the design is going to be the same of course but I want to change the fabric because I was using um, a gray a great uh, fabric and Tina uh, Tina stitches hello Tina uh, comment in uh, she she's also doing this and she's doing a fantastic job uh, these days ha she has been posted um, photographs of her uh, progress in her Instagram and is fantastic I love the face of the Hello, <laughs> the face of the of the man, and she's doing a, a great job. So she comment on one of my videos that uh, why don't I use a gray a color fabric and don't stitch the background? You know these parts. Let me get out there. The design so you can see. So why I uh, don't I choose another fabric or not another fabric but why I didn't um, stitch the background just this part and these parts so using a, a, a gray color fabric I won't have to stitch that so I was using a gray fabric but a color gray fabric but I start to, to stitch the background but I say, you know what, I will start again and won't be stitching the background, just these parts. So I want to stitch to start again. And I will be using um, another fabric. I'm waiting for for new fabric, uh, you know, some um, stitchy kindness. So I want to check if one of the fabrics that I'm going to receive uh, will be, you know, big enough to stitch this. So I'm in the process of of design uh, of decide what to what to do with with this, where to start it. But um, the the decision is not to stitch the the little parts of the background. So, yeah, and if you have chance, uh, go check um, Tina's stitches. Tina uh, progress in, in this one is fantastic, it's gorgeous, and I love it. <laughs> so I can't wait to, to start that. And what else, what else? Um, uh, also this week I well last week I had um, uh, a little finish <laughs> because um, we was it was our wedding anniversary with Carlitos and on Monday um, January the 8th we we have our 24 wedding anniversary so I stitch a little, a little sampler, a little freebie. It's not a sampler; it's a freebie. Um, it's called um, "Love Never Fails." It's from the Primitive Hair. It's a, um, it's a freebie, um, a freebie chart, and it's by Isabella Abiati from the Primitive Hair. And it's uh, you know a really really pretty uh, design, and it's uh, finished in the 
originally in the in the pattern as a pillow but I decide to you know do something different and pull a, pull a McKenna <laughs> and I finish this and I I use well part of the of the fabric uh, from Dead by Cross Stitch it's an Aida 18 and I use one of my uh, of my flosses of my anti flosses and I change the, the date the year and this is the the year that we got married and then when I finished I decide to burn the the edges just like Makina told us <laughs> and you know I burn a little in the in the fabric also and I have this piece of, of wood so you know just add some nails and yeah this is my my finish uh, FFO of the week so it's my first finish of the year also and I want to get uh, you know a a little base to to put it, you know, to display it. And Carlito loved it, and she he uh, let me have it just for a moment <laughs> to show you. But you know, he he really liked it. So yeah, my first um, finish of the year, and a creative um, FFO. So yeah. Really happy with that. Um, uh, I, I was going to um, today. Uh, it's Sunday. I'm going to look in the market, in the flea market. Um, some other, you know, uh, frames or things that I can use to frame uh, my stitching, because you know, with Priscilla and Chelsea. Uh, wonderful ideas and McKenna also finished her um, Katy Barrick uh, design and she did a, an amazing uh, job you know, stitching and finished it in a shadow bow box I think you call it and it's really really cute and you know very creative so I want to find something to to keep it here so I can um, frame more things. So yeah, uh, that's my report for today. Uh, I hope uh, you can be able to <laughs> understand me and listen. Mm. I remember precisely this, this week uh, in one of uh, Daniel's uh, Stitcherista uh, videos she was talking about uh, one of her pet peeves it was that people comment or, or let comments that they can listen uh, her uh, I mean the volume is too low or something like that and she said I can do anything <laughs> I mean I tape or, or I record the the video and you know I don't do anything that uh, to minimize the volume, I guess. So I was comment uh, on her video that I I once received that uh, that kind of comments that people can listen to me or you know I was too low and one of the ladies say uh, wrote if I can listen I won't watch so goodbye and I was really sad. <laughs> I feel so bad because. What can I do? I mean, I, I can. But then I say, you know what? That's okay. If you can listen I, and you don't want to watch me, that's okay. Uh, I will keep recording <laughs> and you know, doing these videos mostly for me. And if some of you want to watch it, that's wonderful. So, but yeah, I, I was feeling so bad with that comment, and then you know, I just. Say, you know what? That's okay. <laughs>
<laughs> there's, there's no much that I can do. So I want to make a a t-shirt a t-shirt with if I can hear you I won't watch it. And and also this week I have to to change my um art yard because I have a smaller one and now I have to to get a, a larger larger one but I guess I will have to change this too. <laughs> I don't know what you what you do if you keep um, keep uh, this uh, ort or you just throw away the the threads. Um, I I um, watch the you know the ornament 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 that you use the plastic one. Uh, and they look, you know, they are very, very cute. Um, I have to watch if I can get one or, or some of, of them here so I can, you know, perhaps uh, do something like an uh, ornament or like, uh, what do you call, um, you know, like a <laughs> little, uh, in, in Spanish is uh, guirnalda. You know the the things that you put your ornaments and and make them look pretty. <laughs> so yeah, and that's it. I guess uh, that's all my report for for this week. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'm really happy because I have watched all my floss tube videos to to the day. So I just have like uh, two or three videos to watch. So yeah, I'm really happy. And I want to make this uh, short so you can watch another people. <laughs> yeah, but um, have a wonderful week. Uh, thank you. Thank you to all of you who, who are uh, subscribers uh, or who are the, who is the first time that you are here with me I hope you like it uh, and we'll be watching and stitching together in, in my next future in my next video <laughs> bye bye <laughs>